Hello everyone, it's Steve with After Owners Club. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about a fun little vehicle called the Corbin Sparrow. Someone in our Discord group um, posted this link about the Aptera concept car with this picture. And this turns out to be an incorrect um, website where they thought that this vehicle was the Aptera concept car. And it's not. This is the Corbin Sparrow. The Aptera concept car looked nothing like this. It looked very similar to um, what it is now with the Morelli body, which is more low slung and wide. This is a single passenger reverse trike three seater, which was the first single passenger electric vehicle uh, made in the United States or possibly in the world um, back in the late 1990s. So the story behind this building, and it looks a lot like an Electromechanica solo if you if you see this. So the story behind it is um, that there was a guy named Mike Corbin who basically ran a motorcycle accessory and parts company that was pretty successful, and he also made these like uh, like racing experimental motorcycles as well. And he he designed this Sparrow with his son. Um, and uh, they showed it at the um, San Francisco Auto Show back in 1996. And they were they were saying they're going to sell it for about $14,000 and at a top speed of 75 and range of 50. The When they actually delivered the car, it turned out to have a top speed of like 65 and a range of more like 30 miles. And back then, they didn't have lithium-ion batteries or they weren't very... Uh, available they used lead acid batteries i think 13 of them oh yeah here you go 13 12 volt lead acid batteries that weighed 600 pounds so it was like half the weight of the entire vehicle was the lead acid batteries and when one of them failed the whole thing would shut down so he showed it and there was a lot more interest than people than he expected and he got over a million dollars in deposits a lot of orders they um he worked on um building these things because he had like no factory no workers it was just him by himself and he eventually did make and sell about 290 of these things before kind of he ran out of money and and uh, he just couldn't scale uh, production to the point that it became profitable. Then a company called Myers uh, Motors in Ohio, they bought out the design and now they're trying to sell this vehicle, which is kind of a single, uh, a, a very uh, thin single seater four wheeled vehicle. Um, I think it's a tandem, actually. You can um, go one behind the other, uh, kind of like the Archimoto. This is not available, but they're, trying, they're saying they're going to sell it for $20,000 after the federal tax credit. So before the federal tax credit, very similar in price to the Aptera. But I don't know that they're actually going to deliver this car either. They built So Meyer Motors bought this thing and... Um, and then they sold about a 30 more. So there's a little over 300 of these things eventually sold to some people. And what's interesting is if you go here, there is a group in Groups.io that is relatively active. You know, there's maybe about 20 or 30 posts per month. And it's been ongoing for the past 20 some years. And these are enthusiasts of people that have these. I believe there's about 100 of these that are still functional and people still drive them. And there's an enthusiast community. And although they have been somewhat orphaned, um, they are still uh, very interested in these things and has kind of a cult following. And if you look, uh, I found this Corbin Sparrow, which is a 2000 Corbin Sparrow that was sold for $17,502 just in June of this year. So there's still a market for these things. Uh, the people that are interested really like these things. Hopefully this is not where Aptera ends up as kind of a niche a cult following of a few vehicles that were uh, made because eventually it's very hard to find parts for these things. I think they are basically cannibalizing the um, the other ones for parts to keep the 100 that they have going. And I don't know what's going to happen when those parts all fail. But you need like a you need like enough sales of a vehicle, even with right to repair. You need enough sales that it makes um, continue to support it with parts and things an economically viable endeavor. So hopefully we don't end up with this. Eventually Corbin, so this is this is Corbin Motors. This is their uh, website where they sell like, they specialize in like motorcycle saddles and a lot of other things. But if you look, if you deep, if you do a deep dive into here, uh, there is this Sparrow EV uh, 
part of it. And if you go there, you get this. And what it is, is I guess he bought back the um, design from uh, Meyer Motors. And now with, uh, they've, they've improved it. They've changed it a little bit. They've changed the doors to swing up like this so it doesn't swing out. They've put lithium ion batteries in it and things like that. They were supposed to have delivered a few in 2017 in 2018 and i couldn't find any um evidence that they've actually done that so i don't know i think this is an old page so i don't know if this kind of just died uh, or if they are still trying to kind of revive this thing um if they were selling this thing for you know fourteen thousand dollars still i think it would be a great competitor to the uh electromechanica solo and um, they're they're trying to make this thing, I think, 75 miles per hour in a 100-mile range, which is very similar to Electromechanica Solo. So this is kind of the original. has a very quirky look, and I think it it uh, it appeals to a certain um, demographic of people, and it does have a very strong following on this group's IO. But anyway, uh, someone posting this on our Discord channel just reminded me about this vehicle that I just I thought was really cool when I saw it back uh, 20 years ago uh, when it first came out. Uh, I wasn't interested enough to want to buy that thing. This is around uh, about 10 years before the Aptera first, the first iteration of the Aptera tried to launch back in about 2009. So um, this didn't uh, attract me like the first, like Aptera did initially, but it is a cool vehicle. It's very efficient, um, gets about 330 miles per gallon, which is similar to Aptera, but Aptera is much faster, has much more cargo. It's just a more um, useful vehicle for most people and for me, because I want to be able to carry bicycles and like take it up the mountains and kind of go camping in it and things like that. Um, but that, that just reminded me of this kind of quirky car. And I thought that a little history on this car and some lessons to be learned for Aptera that, you know, they do need to reach volume production so that they don't get orphaned like this one is. Although these, uh, this enthusiast group is making it work, um, even with an orphan product. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was interesting to a few of you guys. I know this is not the kind of content that uh, most of you guys are interested in, but, um, uh, I, I always thought that this was kind of a quirky looking cool vehicle. Uh, as an aside, this was in Austin Powers gold member um, in that movie. Uh, they, they used one of these cars in that movie. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks to our supporting members and have a great day, everyone.